five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Lena. Beastmaster. Radiant team pick. Dark Sia. Radiant team ban. Five seconds remaining. Bad dudes banning someone now. Oh. The green team's banning someone now. Bad dudes banning someone now. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Dire team pick. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Wind Ranger at your service. Radiant team pick. Shadow Demon. Dire team pick. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I just totally whiffed on remembering to put on the OBS mic. So guys, I'm going to give another introduction here. Welcome to the eSportal qua Open Qualifier number 4. This is Semtic versus Vega squad and Vega was able to get the first match out of this series. You're with me, Gester, Sander. Of the Swiss DC. We're also on our channel here. I'm completely, I'm really sorry about the uh, the mic. I've just been talking to myself for the past four minutes for nothing. Well, okay, nothing is an overstatement because we of course have viewers. I'm gonna assume through the ticket. I'm gonna take a fast look up here how many we have and 
Yeah, it's just a couple. Nothing too important. So, guys, welcome to the East Portal Open Qualifier quarter final. And so far, we've already been very far ahead in the uh, <laughs> in the cash in the drafting. <laughs> yeah, Tentic, they are opting for two of the same heroes of last match. They really didn't work out that well. Bo 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 on the middle, Kunka and Van Sack on the wind rage. They weren't able to do a lot. And Vega, they go again with the with the Shadow Demon SK. Pretty strong combo. Disruption into Bird Strike. Fairly easy. Dark Sick can even just put a couple of nice iron shells in between it as well. And it would just be tough to deal with. Well, as if uh, it's all just making sure that you can't get close to the gyro. Just having his epicenter in front of you will make it hard to get to him. They do have uh, a bow though to come up to him and there are of course some ways to close to this and there's always Rin Run, Blink, Easy Roar, Lina Man with Yules, like yeah, there are options, there are options. But yeah, I think Vega is going heavy carry after this and pick up a Medusa. That's an, or actually they think Santic might do that but that's really, really greedy. And that could actually be fairly well punished by the uh, side of Vega here. Yeah, this is just... Authentic, yeah. What are they going to pick up? Who commits? So that means that Beastmaster and Lina are going to be... Are they going to go dual lanes again? They might. Reserve time. Yeah, this is... Uh... For me, nothing to decide. Like, what is going to be good for all of this? Yeah, I, I want to say Lycan would have been uh, would have been great, but it's of course banned out as well. And they're gonna opt for the puck now. They're gonna go all push in all early. If, essentially, if they don't win this by the 25 minute mark, they uh, they lost. And last time they lost about at the 25 minute mark. So we'll see how that goes. And we'll see, what is Vega going to give an answer to this? Like, you can even just pick up a... Honestly, you can just pick up an exercise in middle right now. It can do a lot of work here. Five seconds remaining. Alchemist. And they're going to pick up an Alchemist here. Okay, well, I was not expecting this and it's going to be really fun. Maybe we're going to see some shared agonims here, guys. Uh, again, guys, sorry uh, on the, for the guys on stream. I'm so sorry. That was a complete brain fart by me, and it was my and my mistake alone. Oh my god. Uh, but okay, let's take a look. Centic, they want to take a game back here from Vega, and after that, win this series. They want to go to the semi final and start getting some money. Or did I already get money for this one? I honestly don't know. But let's just look at how it goes. These masters for Centic. Led by ZJK on the tire. <coughs> we have AJ playing the Lina. We have YFX playing the Pugna. We have Bo 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 playing the Kunka again. And we have. Uh, what was it? Fast check on the Wind Ranger again as well. And on the side of Vega Squadron. Of Vega dot squadron dot G2A. We have Solo on the Sand King. We have Mech on the Dark Seer. We have Sima the Slayer on the Shadow Demon. We have no one on the middle. Alchemist. Okay. And last but not least, we of course have Parsha. Nine Parsha on the Gyrocopter. This is a really greedy lineup actually from Vega coming out of here. I want to see how it ends up. I'm going to put another cherry tomato into my mouth as well because I'm actually quite hungry. Parsha, he thinks he can win from Rush. And Rush has a different story to tell there. He says, I'm going to beat the living shit out of you when you try it. for now Burr Strike yes Burr Strike is there they're gonna steal the Bounty Rune <laughs> or well steal it maybe a little bit of an over but they're gonna get the Bounty Rune here Tiny Strike away as well but they're already oh, disengaging there and this is actually gonna be dual size from both teams or is it no 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 so okay Solo he is going but he wants to stack the jungle and go for his uh which blink deck I was already wondering because that, that would have been quite odd it would have really Get the uh, blink dive dagger timing down. Deny. 
No one, he's uh... I have actually never seen this matchup before. This not a pro match. It's Kunka versus uh, Crystal Alchemist. I'm just gonna say that uh, that Kunka should win this. However, uh, an Alchemist he can just stack the Asians since he's on Dire on Radiant here. He can just go and stack his Asians and just you know get maximum value out of this. Was he actually the one to pick it up? Yeah, he was. So he actually got a plus 400 gold bounty there. But yeah, this is. Be fairly even to the point that Bo 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 should actually win this just to the fact of Tidebringer. Until maybe no one gets level 6, then he has his, uh, his re re regeneration, of course. That will kick in and help him out. Solo. That's JK. Ooh, solo. He's, he has a burst strike up if he needs to be, but he just wants to uh, get the boar here. Run away. Pop his clarity. He's fine. And yeah, Pasha, he is so far, he's doing fine. Six last hits. Versus what is this? The four last hits coming out of uh, Offense Exo. So. They're actually going in here on middle on no one. No one is actually getting really low. Bobo Bo as well, and they're not able to kill him here. The first rotation in from AJ here, not successful. Bobo is still really low, but he would. Keep on standing in here. Okay, he will back off now, region up with uh, Potion Darren. That uh, was all she wrote. What's no one doing here with Kuya? I know he wants to go on bottle grow. What's he expecting? Wait, is someone gonna TP in the middle? Oh no no no! It was said JK running around. Okay, good job there. And now they he just gives the bottle to Sand King. Even the JK comes in, he is not able to uh, to get it. Max of is getting uh, quite a lot out of this uh, the offline here. Couple of last hits, three levels already. The Pugna though. Yeah, Pugna once he gets uh, maybe his arcane boots up, he will start to take this tower. Come out to creep wave and map with his iron shells will be a little bit uh, hard pressed to deal with this. He got his soul ring up now though. So he got that. But yeah, it's uh, gonna be tough. No one. He's gonna get pulled back into a torrent. AJ is there as well. And this is gonna be the first blood killed with the Dragon Slave of the AJ Lina. Tentic striking first here in the second match. As they should. They're already behind one. They want to make sure that they get as much out of this early and mid game as. Because in late game, I do. F just Vega just has to straight up better lineup. Ultra late as well. And oh, there's a disruption. One sec. Windrun popped. Now ZJK he might be caught out a little bit due to the way he works. Oh no, walk there, but uh, Soul Catch, he doesn't catch on him and Pasha will just continue to farm again. We'll take some arrestment from Fonsec here. So now it's all back. No one, he's actually pretty dominating this middle lane here with the... with all of his... Uh, oh, sprays. Acid sprays. What the hell is wrong with me saying quote? But yeah, this is... Uh, they're gonna be tough. And now we just have a casual donkey. Okay, casual donkey coming out for Santa here. No more that fleshy. Fleshy, what is it? Uh, Grievel uh, there. And ZYF. He just keeps on farming the, the jungle here as well. Ooh. No, that uh, big creep goes the way of Mac. The JK, he's just. Taking it easy for now. He's level uh, level one. Not really been laning a lot more like running. He still has only level one boar. Well, because of all this, so he really needs to start uh, leveling up. Yeah, this is uh, gonna be tough. Then. Tima, he even gets a last hit there due to the fact that he killed the hawk. Yeah, so far. I must say, Semtic are coming better ahead in this game, as their lineup should have been. They're gonna go on no one here in the middle again, but he's just fine. He gets another, he got some bottle charges, gives one to Solo as well, so he can keep on the, the jungle going here. And what? Smash it down. He didn't regenerate up enough, and he just got killed here by uh, Vesek, and together with uh, ZJK. Well, heavily underestimating the, the kill potential there then. And in the middle, oh no, I even missed that one. What is wrong with me today? No one. He dies. 
Konka and again together with uh, RJ they get another kill on him he's already three kills away of Centic uh, just striking back in the second game so far already but Vega they're just taking it easy they can just keep on farming and it's all fine for them and so this is what they're gonna be doing and what they will keep on doing at all time if they device a little bit only fight when they have to and even then they have vacuum into uh, wall into fall down epicenter as it's price so a lot of aoe damage a little bit of a wombo combo you might say and yeah that's just too much for them to deal with and no one is oh no they're gonna go on him again he does pop his uh Skim call rage though, so he's just regening up fairly nicely. All based on him, so. By Vix. He's building up towards a, uh, a mecha here. Well, I'm gonna assume this is a mecha. It might also, of course, be the, uh, the force stuff. Anything else would be fairly odd. I don't think if Vladimir is offering us the, the item to go. Oh no, Pesha caught out that. Bobo Bo, okay, taking that kill. Four kills already for Centic now. They really want to take control of this game and they are doing it right now. However, yeah, this was going to happen at least sometime. Vega strikes best. They kill off uh, the Pugna here. They get their first kill of the match. The ball has been dropped for it though. And so, line strike away. It hits in Dragon Slave as well. Mech is taking a lot of tower damage here and he's going to die to this. There you go. Lina catches him up. Yeah, they're uh, rotating around fairly well on the side of Santic. Making sure that no trade goes unpunished here. There we go. Pesha. Gonna look for him now. Fensic might just dive behind this tower to get him. But Pesha, he's already running out. He knows something is wrong here. They even ping out. They think there's a ward here, but it's actually not. I'm gonna look underneath the tower to see if somebody's there. Pesha, yeah, they see each other walking here right now. And the Tentic, they're just gonna be content to take the steer one for now. There's no epicenter yet. There's a call down though, but is it enough to fly first? This call down used, but this will just damage them a bit. They are not, still not able to go into this. Harvest, why have he actually has to look out? He has a li really low HP here right now. And they were thrown down, and he just gets killed here with the. Uh, <laughs> with an unstable concussion. Well, that was... I was expecting him actually to be able to get out of there without getting killed. Yeah, Vega had another idea and just throw a nice old uh, bottle onto them and kill him off. Disruption there saves him. Even with the timing here, he's still gonna die actually though, but... Also nice to see that with the timing and stable concussion to go in there and oh no Check a shot torrent as well call back is gonna be into it and he's gonna die He's marked the spot doing the job Well to me well mech is just farming on top. He is almost has his mecha here. Eight on gold off It's a uh, It's a recipe and then he's done gyrocopter actually gets here kunka here, but he, he Might die for a pesha one more hit there you go fansec picking up that kill I have a really unexpected quiet uh, Twitch chat so far. Mag, he's. Mag, he's just, he just keeps on farming here. I get a kill. The book now here. And yeah, the, the timing for Fae guys uh, has come. They're just. They're gonna start. Pressuring everything right now. I'm wondering what Alchemist is gonna go for. Is he gonna go for a, uh, a Midas here or is he just opting for something else? Maybe Vanguard or. Hmm. Yeah, what would be really good this game? Well, apart from BKP. Either. Yeah, there's so many things that he might need. Oh, does he bow, bow, bow? They're gonna. <laughs> oh, they're actually gonna commit the epicenter for this. The burst right into his face, epicenter vacuum dead. Deeper rotations are coming in. Oh, no. 
Oh, what a good play. Just a little bit too late. It's already ward off there. The Cryptify really not doing a lot. The Ethereal state wasn't low enough there to uh, to get a nice Lacuna Blade in. And no one, he just keeps on doing the Ancient Stacks here. Yeah, there's not really a way for them to be stopped here right now. At least JK, he's coming back a little bit into the game. He's level 5 now, but 150 XP of level 6. He's building towards the Necro book. But that could have been worse. So far, yeah, no one. He's on top of the leaderboard here. After that, we have Mech who just finished off his, uh, his Mecha. And then we get... Uh, well, now Pasha just took over and then we get... Uh, of the course from uh, Zentic, but they're gonna go in on Sima. He is gonna disrupt himself, but he's just setting up for a nice lightning strike array into well the bow torrent and everything else. But they're gonna start running into here. There is actually a really good check uh, coming out here, keeping everybody away from Aj. Aj is still alive for now, but he will die here to Mech. Bobo is going after Pesha here. Pesha gets a power shot in the face, and he will die here as well. Now no one. He's the next on the list. Mech also runs away. No, they will leave them alone. They are diving behind the tier one tower. They say this is enough. We want to just take the tower. And yeah, waiting for the creeps, then it will start walking in and then we'll just go and take this tower then. So far, Sentic, they are looking strong. They're, they have shaken off their loss and... Uh, they're just coming back here in the second game for so... So far, it's just... Yeah, it's tough. Vega. They're still uh, ahead though, and golf and gold and XP as well. Smoke up here from uh, from Centic though, but it's just because of the fact that they have, of course, uh, no one here on the Alchemist. And he's actually gonna go and up for a Shadow Blade, it's Silver Edge most likely. You can get the Tidebringer off. That's a fun one. Fear we saw as well. Well, that means he's actually gonna die. A chemical Rage popped, Rory as well, and yeah. He's just dead. Wind Rager just pick up the kill there. This is just pretty tough. Yeah, that isn't too true, Joel. There. We don't have that many. Oh no, Pesha. He's gonna get initiated on. However, there is the epicenter to get it with the wall combo. And as well as the vacuum. Fenske, yeah, he doesn't have a run run anymore. Burrow, three seconds. One second. Burrow, dead. And the TP out is there though from... Oh, actually he's not going to be on time. Chima the Slayer does kill off ZJK. He was trying to TP out. And Jewel, you're right. It's really quiet here, but... There's not a lot for me to respond on to... Uh, to the Twist chat right now. And solo casting is, is more fun when you have a really active uh, Twist chat as well. This makes it easy. Burrow's right there as well. Bo Bo Bo, he is going to take a spill here as well. He, he does get off a torrent, does hit Mech, but there was already Mecha out. Purge or purge, search in one second and the search away disruption is there on AJ. He's just gonna get blown up here as well. See him at the Slayer on the SD taking that. And now, Pentic, they're crumbling. They just gave up a whole lot of kills there. This team fight, I don't know, I think they even got more than two kills. This has been a really drawn out team fight. You can just see the, the graph take this nice up swing there. On all. And yeah, they're just gonna go back to farming on the side of Vega and Centic. See my boy, yeah, he has a Sarkane, it's fine, nothing more. Shadow Blade just finished an Alchemist. Pasha, he goes on HOD, so we will try to start farming a little bit faster with them. Maybe we can start making some Asian stacks, or maybe Asian stacks and maybe a hard camp or something along those lines. We'll see what he, he up to do with that. Darks here, Cloak, maybe. Uh, we we'll built up a Glimmer Cape, we've seen those a lot today. One of the favorite, <laughs> one of the, yeah, one of the items that's just favorite right now by a lot of support and offlaners as well. It's just so good to save your uh, your team with it. Tentic, they're gonna look for the next tier one on their list and that's gonna be the bot. And Vega, at the moment they're not in position to uh, defend yet, but they're, they're surely gonna make their move here. The tower is still very low though couple of hits they're gonna use the fortification now just Pasha here they can actually they can defend this if Pasha walks in and he gets well x marks spot on anything else he would just die yeah but they have to drop this tower they're trying to split push a little here 
What Pasha found? So oh, the war just pulled them out, and they're just gonna go for the tier two here. They know that that the top is being pushed in. Well, he's actually coming back here, so oh, he's not. He's still there. He's solo. Actually, got the, the tower as well. Go for one, a one for one trade, but yeah, yeah. a sand king doesn't push faster than a <laughs> full five man team of uh, sand king. Got another blast, and I'm gonna try and back off a little bit here. Alchemist, he is in this. Due to his shadow blade. And there you go. He walks underneath a uh, <laughs> sentry there. And he's gonna get blown up here before he can do anything after this. And there's gonna be a nice epicenter catching out three here. ZJK taking a lot of damage. Skulldon only hits once though. Vega. Well, Solo actually gets roared up. X Mark spawns on Max Solo. He's gonna take a spill here as well. Well, Pasha is still fighting him versus Z uh, Y FX. And he's gonna kill him. That is Netherboard put down and yeah, there's actually gonna be a good tour in there killing off Mech. Now, Pasha is gonna look for uh for Fensack here, but this this shekel man. It's two man shekel. See now he's trying to kill Fensack here, but he's not able to do it. He's gonna get caught get well X Mark is put back here as well and he's gonna get killed up. Ultra kill going the way of Fensack here. Well Well played by him. Ooh, five man wipe and just as I thought Fago was really just starting to fight a little bit more. Sentic was on the back. Sentic just takes this team fight and just just obliterate them like Well now it's Vega turn to actually answer to this one because this is really pretty tough there and Invisibility? No no <laughs> oh no he's just gonna make it, he's just gonna send himself here. He has chemical rage on the on those, so it doesn't matter that much. And this is either gonna be a big B or Silver Edge. I'm gonna say Silver Edge. Hey, I have no glass of water. That sucks. Mm. And yep. No one. Bombing it away. Dolo. He's gonna go for four Steffi. He kills off the. Uh... Oh, he kills off the. Uh... A hog there and uh, AJ. He's gonna build towards uh, his threats now. Necrobook almost completed on Beastmaster. He should be. He's very. After, yeah, after this stack, he has it for sure. And Sek, he actually got the second control ready. Bash, he's gonna get thrown into the air and he's just gonna get killed here. He's not gonna get a return kill. Call down uh, his M1 but that's actually gonna be the end of it. Pasha dies again, maybe a little bit too aggressive to farm there. But this is of course talking as Captain Hyde hindsight there. And they actually also steal the stack there from uh from Vega. So far. Yeah, Vega taking some dips here. It's starting to be a little bit more even. Now they're looking at Osh. Down to half HP. Definitely Dalian here. Also might a lot. Why is it actually? Ah, Beastmaster got it. Beastmaster also has his. Uh... He actually opted to buy the entire medallion. And okay, there's a guy to kill on uh, the Sima here because it was lost a little bit in the top because he actually just used all of his money to instead buy an. Uh... Oh, to not buy an Acro book. But to buy a medallion just to help them do rush faster. And there we go, they're gonna look at the tier 1 tower here. As it sprays, has been thrown down. Throwing out Sentic a little bit, resetting them. And yeah, they just. Oops. 4 kills. They know that the uh, Nether Ward's out. But they can't really do a lot about it. Well, now they can. Pasha is walking up there. Yeah, now it's too late. No bonus gold there for Vega for killing off the netherboard. They weren't able to do that, so. Wind Ranger, he's opting for a BKB next here after his second empty. He just wants to make sure that he can deal that consistent DPS. And yeah, there's actually nothing. Burst. Actually, there's one thing. Burst goes through BKB, but apart from that. There's nothing on the side of Vega that actually goes through BKB.
Alchemist, man, you need to start becoming a team player. You need to start give out some uh, Aghanims here, man. Just BKB, forget about it. It's not worth it. Don't do it. Oh, yeah, they're gonna go for his dead wife. Vacuum back. Yeah, it's gonna be an unstable concussion as it spreads. Well, they even throw down a wall for good measure. And yeah, Guardian Grief to use. Oh, he's just keep being out with the decryptify on him. Good heads a play there. Because of that, he's. X Men, that was just a very big play. But then, same thing, they're fighting everyone both. And Pesha gets the kill onto AJ here. Bo, 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 he's running in. He is gonna find Sima. He's gonna get the torrent down on him. He's gonna get thrown up into the air. Uh, that's gonna be the epicenter though. Well, it doesn't matter because they actually will kill off Pesha here first. But the epicenter is down. The Aegis is gone. And now Solo needs to get actually out of here. Sima. And run pop by Fensek. Just rep use. No catcher. Sima is still not in the clear here. At all. They're gonna keep on fighting him. Solo is gonna get out. Sima. Power shot. No, it's not enough. Oh no, Fensek thought he could do the full power shot run away, but it just wasn't enough damage there. And now on top they go for Z. Z <laughs> Why Avex dies again? He dies again. Did the exact same to as before, but now without. Ward and now Solo, he's getting caught out. He's gonna get a boat into the face. Check his shoulder towards the. Uh <coughs> Towards the trees, and then he just dies there. No one, he has his BKB finish now. Back, something big for him, maybe. Yeah, he got his Blink Dagger now, as well as uh, the Glimmer Game, of course. He already had that one. And Ranger. About 500 gold off for his own personal uh, BKB there. Lina. Oh, he got. She got. Listen. Yeah, Tress, yeah. Yes, he's thrown into the fifth position. That's JK, he got his uh, his medallion, his level one necro book. So he got he got some things here. You can still see the top worth of uh, Centic, you know, being the top two there. But after that, you have the a three block of heroes from Vega. They want to stop these Asian stacks here coming out, but it's already too late. Need to micro the uh, the range creep here. Oh, we're just gonna leave it. Might we'll see a middle confrontation here if everybody starts to walk up towards it. No one. He's ready for this. 5x. He got Garden Creep. His cloak. Blah, blah, blah. The overhead's already done. Uh, yeah, there's Ripson here to save Sima himself. And I was a little bit far away from the tower, so it won't really help them with the tower defense. Actually, he's still hitting here. Yeah. But the range is really long. Do I see the range of it? No, I certainly don't. It's okay, it's about. Let's say here. It's about even. Gonna SS spray on the, on the ground. Ref, he walks forward fairly aggressively. He's gonna get a, a missile into his face. Level 3 missile, so it might actually hurt quite a lot. They might actually jump onto this. They will. There's gonna be the Fagium. However, Guardian Geese come out in a good check as well. No one is gonna get. But the sword here before he can even deny himself that with the instant concussion. There's gonna be a nice drain coming out as well from ZYF. And Sima, he's gonna die as well. Bow, bow, bow. He's not getting any kills. Ha! However, uh, the Wind Ranger is. He's having a good time here. He's gonna get another rocket to go thrown at his face. Look, dead. Oh well, rocket exploded. They're not gonna follow this one up. Ivex. I'm looking at what's it gonna be building up next. Is he gonna go for maybe Bloodstone? Academes? Bagan? Link? Octarine Core? There are a lot of options that he could go for, but. Yeah, what would be the good one? I want to say Bloodstone would help them out really a lot with the pushes, also with the sustain, but the mana is not a problem. Maybe even an him just to tank up a little, or a BKB just to be able to spam out all of those uh, blasts all the time. But yeah, I'm gonna say uh, Aghanims or uh, BKB are probably the best choices for now. Solo showing off his uh, 
His movability here with four stuff <laughs> to blink. He's gonna try and get this uh, tier one in the middle. Yeah, now the, the grass takes some drips. And he's not gonna get it because there is already Bobo Bo coming in. X marked the spot. No, disrupts. Vega burst back forward, but it doesn't matter. They already got the tier two here on the uh, on bot for uh, Santic. Alchemist, however, is able to get AJ. He's gonna have to pop his BKB though, so his BKB is already down to eight seconds now. Is it? Why have X? Why am I always going to Why? I'm really just confusing him with another player sometimes. The time. They may be used, but that was his item. They know where Mega is. Mech is, but Mech, he just. He blinks out just in time there. Basically, he kills off nations. And yeah, they're just. All of these teams are really aggressive around the map all the time. We already have, well, 39 kills in a 26 matches. It's pretty good. And yeah, same thing. They, they should start feel the pressure right now because Barsha is starting to farm fairly well. No one, he's starting to farm it up a little bit more. He's not that tanky though. He's gonna... What's he gonna get? Hyperstone. Okay, so there's either gonna be a Mjolnir or an AC or even a Moonshard is a possibility here for no one. Although, Moonshard, I, I, I want to say he needs to get an AC. He just gets blown up all the time. You can't even get a BKB off all of the times. Just gets blown up. Like, that Hulk. Still the one problem with Alchemist. He's too squishy. So look at him some X's in his face. He stop. Bow, bow, bow. He's playing a pretty good game so far. 8 3 2 11. He's just doing work. And this tier 1, they use the fortification. They want to defend this one. Shackle shot. It latches on towards no and he does have chemical race on, but it doesn't matter because again he just gets blown up. He needs to activate his BKB on time. Because if he doesn't, you get this. Burning Reef Juice. Another disrupt. Oh, there's gonna be that uh... Oh, there's actually gonna be an epicenter in. The reinitiating here. Solo runs out as well. Glimmer Cap used on onto the uh Kugna here, and actually Solo is gonna die here. Pensek has to run away. It's already too deaf on the side of of Vega, they need to make an hasty retreat. They do see ZJK here. Well, X is now he's gonna take a fall. It's a two for one trade right now. Russia is 2.5k gold. Holy shit. Bah, bah, bah. What's he gonna be building up next? Maybe crit or. It would be fun. I wanna see crits. I just wanna see fun stuff. I wanna see crits. I wanna see Dagens, like those kind of things. Because, you know. Why not? Blow up. Blow up even more. Oh, Torrent hits. Boat hits. Pasha is almost dead instantly because of this. And he's just gonna Glimmer Cape up. And yeah, Bo Bo Bo. Yeah, he's gonna get hit by this uh, missile. But yeah, essentially he doesn't do a lot. He still can run easily run away. And while all of this, they're just taking the rush. They are missing uh, the Beastmaster with Medallion though. So it's taking a little bit longer. Gonna take the fall here. And it's dead. Who's gonna pick this one up? It's gonna be Fensec. <coughs> well, Farsentic is still ahead, but later it goes. The more I would say that I favor Vega. Their heroes are just a little bit stronger in the late game. Even the. Even it's, it's, uh, Shadow Demon is just really strong there. Yeah, JK. He goes level 2 Necrobook now. He wants to get level 3. He always wants to get level 3. Blink. As well as the BKB onto the Fensaki on the Wind Ranger. Can just go and farm up this Lucius lucrative reap wave. Well, actually, until Baba Bo shows up and steals it all away from me. Ooh, bad. I do that. Be nice. Although Fensek is still actually <laughs> the top of the network right now. 
And he needs to be with crit. Just because I say so. Also, the actual, the actual item is. Oh. Just kill the courier. Mystic step. This is essentially almost a complete Shivas together with another component of the uh, AC for no one. But they don't really care about it because they're gonna go in onto middle here. They're gonna kill off Z by F here. Maybe no, they're not. They're actually gonna kill off Mech as YFX is still gonna be alive here. Solo is gonna fight him. Burst strike onto him. But he got the Glimmer Cave, so it's fairly magic resistance. But the, uh, yeah. This is gonna be Perch. That kills him off. Oh. Hey, guy, they're on the run here. They actually, the fight is all split up. They're gonna go here onto AJ. Solo tries to kill him. He still has Epicenter, though. And all Santic is back right now, solo, burn strike, no, he gets uh, Jack Holton, he's gonna die. He still had the, uh, the four step though, but maybe he could have able to four step faster. This was uh, death for him, he dies, uh, he dies here, he's into the red, dead scorpion, crushed like a little bug. And now, how, how far is Santa got? In regard of gold, not. In regard of XP, not. They're actually only ahead in kills and towers. Which just means that there is more money to be gained for Vega up to the top. top. It is for Centic right now. Man, I should have had some coffee. Ugh. And guys. And yo. ZJK. He goes his Necrobook. No, he goes us. Awesome. Uh, he stole it from Solo there. I was already looking at the like, what? I had to buy a gem. We just got Necrobook. He used it. That's actually pretty big. There, yeah, because that means that there's no gem on the side of Vega, uh, of which means that the all big glimmer caves and such have a little bit more uh, use there. And if I don't Pesha, they're gonna shackle him. Back is here though, but. Limit Cave, use some push, he can just run away for now. And yeah. He can be used by the. Uh, oh no, by the Wind Ranger. Seam. Can take Guardian Graves? Is he gonna die here though? No one, he pops his BKB and just gonna kill him off here. So far, there's only one dead on the side of Santic. Bobo, -bo, he's getting followed by Solo. He's scared, to, he's scared to fight at first this, uh, well, this scorpion. And still back to that. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to go back to the courier for now because Pesci has Poppy's BKB in right now. Solo. Too late. Back there. He actually gets a burst strike out. And a four stuff. Oh, he's stuck there with the trees. Okay, he is fine. He actually fights ZJK. He does get off his roar into Pasha, but there's gonna be a lot of follow up. Well, there's gonna be some follow up. There's gonna be Lacuna Blade, Dragon Slave, at least killing off one person so far already, too, because on the back lines, Wind Rage, it kills off solo. Mech, blink out, fine. Oh no, oh no, oh no. No one stuns himself. He does have his game core Rage on, though. But yeah, they're just gonna nuke him down. And he is dead. Four men death for the side on the side of Senti. On the side of uh I of course mean Vega. And they just have to give up their uh, their Beastmaster. No okay trade for uh, for Centic. I think they'll take it. They're gonna try and maybe look for the high ground here. They need to start make some work already. They do have Wind Ranger though, he has his uh, crit stick, as I said he would. Because you always need crits, man. Fritz win you the game. Mac. Yes, you see You're gonna get pullback into the x one spot. Both as well. Surge too late. He is dead. Wind Ranger taking the last hit there. Fensec. 15 1 8. Damn. Bobo. 9 3 15. Also having a great game. Oh, Shaker shot onto the creep. Not able to latch onto uh, Sima there. If it would have had been, that would have been a death disruptor. And yeah, Jarocopter. Yeah, he's gonna go for it uh, for a bus fly now. 
Uh, no one. He kills said JK. He has to use his BKB here before he gets uh, shackled towards the trees and gets blown on them for focus fire. Oh no, Solo. He needs to get disrupted, but that's not on time. He forces himself away while Sima gets a uh, boat into the face, but yeah. It still ends up with a dead uh, Scorpion again with some big Laguna Blades thrown into his face. Two dead on the side of Vega for again only the Beastmaster. Damage here into the tower. First blast hits. Second blast hits. Focus fire used. They do have a fortification on the side of Vega though. They use it. But sec, he's still just fighting up versus that tower. And yeah, they're gonna get this tower. Vega, they. Oh, well, this is not the way what they are supposed to be waiting for because it's just a dead uh, SD there. No one walks in chemical rage. Fensec, he's actually taking a lot of damage here. But he just pops his wind run. So all of the attacks missed there. Mech is able to run out of this boat as well as uh, no one is. And the Shiva's guards are all popped all over the map here. YFX, he's gonna pop a glimmer cape as well. Bobo Bo taking. Well, due to the BKBs, the line struck away. Doesn't matter. Bobo Bo is able to run away. Still. Uh, no, YFX. He's gonna get burrowed and killed because of it. But they get the tier 3. Together with the, uh, the uh, melee rex here. Then they got what they wanted. They had to give up uh, the Pugna for it though, but in the end it was worth it for them. And now we're all back to the uh, steel blade a little bit. Bobo, he didn't go like his usual build. He's like with silver reds and then some crits. He built up as he fast. <clears throat> you know, more armor, more mana. Something that you really need when you're running a silver. Silver Edge, I mean. He's just to get ready. Well, look, what is he going to be building next? He has 4.8k gold. Just spending us. Let me get a second uh, Daedalus for Steam. Maybe if he wants to go like maybe a little bit of an hour sweat, he can pick up the AC. Dima is in the uh, the torch pit, but they find him. Decked him. He deserves so he deserves transcend, but it doesn't matter. He's gonna get killed by the world axis. Um, on the beast master there, and it's that's that's dead. There, Dima. Both teams are waiting for Russia. Because it's about uh, 20 seconds, so which then we'll be back up. Russia, he did beat his, uh, his butterfly now. No one. There's a lot of farm. So far, he has been able to make it into a uh, Basher AC. Last time, which uh, really looked at him. Yeah, BKB popped by 9 patch. He can't get pulled in here. That would be better of him. They pursue him, no, they're gonna try and pursue Mac, but Mac, of course, has his uh, switch. That's really not the easiest target to find. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Bad dude's top tower is on fire. Half time, she. Aerocopter, he has a lot of farm, though, but. A bit the same for the Alchemist. Oh, smite. Yes, yes, uh, Ajay, we're also all really happy. <laughs> Rush is now being taken. Sensei, he's just soloing it up for now, but his team will come here. Then I watch put down into the edge. Party re swap, and it's gonna be that. Dead Rush. Sensei picks up the Aegis. Bobo picks up the. Nice old Edmund Tyler into his pocket. He got the. Oh, we already got the now as well. He's actually getting back fairly well into this game. Dima, yeah, yes. Yeah. That was really aggressive. Oh, get out of there. 
Get out. He was burn striking to force stuff. Uh, if he needs it. I'm not gonna find him anymore. And I just ran out of tomatoes. Well, I guess I want my dinner after this match. At least that that is if Vega wins. If Vega doesn't win, I won't have dinner. <laughs> Till like 12. <laughs> oh my god, I'm hungry. Yeah, I said you might have to look out a little bit. It's fine though. Watch that forming up. Another stack of Asians, man. Triple stack could go his way. He just says, thank you, man. That will just help him on his way towards his next item. Because Yoshi there, it might be a Manta. Oh. Yeah, he's gonna get uh, himself stunned here. And also, Torrent. Up to him. Yeah, he's fine. Doesn't kill him. Regeneration is more than enough to keep him up. Well, they're actually gonna fight here. They find Pesha, they shackle him, and he's gonna get Claymore Cape now, though. Disrupt is there as well, though. Because of this, the Torrent Raw hit, but he drops his BKB. Oh, Roar. Fall down. It's Fall. Four. And now they go in mech vacuum wall hitting three. Now it's the runaway. Laguna Blade kills him off. And there's gonna be the uh, Xbox spot, but no, it's not. Pesha is still alive for now, but uh, yeah, this will be the end, though. Pensek. Really low, and he's still able to survive here. They need to buy back at least. Ooh. That's gonna be the, the Aegis there. Seaman Slayer is gonna get killed off now. What's the buyback used? Pesha tried to fight something. No one. He pops his BKB right now. He tries to fight up for the fence deck. He has his run from so He can just take some distance, set some distance between two of them. But there's a Shaku Shield. Oh no, that epicenter. He's not gonna get it towards the other ones. That was really, really. Well, it just really, really sucks for Solo there that he got Shaku Shield up there. There's a good Shaku Shield there for fence deck as well. They're gonna take the middle racks here. First complete lane down for now. Now ZYF, he's trying to find the man to man versus Pasha. He, Glimmer Caves because he uh, had to tap out the JK, he is still alive. Now 9 Pasha, he's gonna get drowned of all great, I mean of all of his mana there at HP. Going into the air is no one, no one is gonna next one to fall. For 100 seconds, GG well played coming out from Vega. No one calls it. We're gonna go into a full best of 3 match. Centic. They did it, guys! No dinner for me, guys! <laughs> well, guys, it's gonna be the full best of three today between uh, Santic and Vega. I wasn't expecting uh, Santic to win again from Vega, to be completely honest, but they showed me wrong, and we're gonna see are they gonna get this third match out of Vega as well, or is Vega gonna be the one going to the semi finals of the East Portal? open qualifier number four guys we'll see you back after the break